There, there's a lot of coordination that goes on between services, and there's a lot of coordination that never happens and is confusing, especially with new technology. I, I mentioned earlier that um, I was the fire support uh, officer for the 101 Aviation when we went to get the new Apaches, and uh, that was under uh, Colonel Garrett. So once again, being the artillery officer, attached to an aviation unit. I'm the only artillery guy in the room. I have one, uh, I think, E6 with me. And we're running everything from the battalion level. And the Apaches are new. And so we go down to Fort Hood for a six-month deployment to learn. So we're learning all about the Apaches. We're learning about the new Hellfire missiles. And I'm like, uh, hey, guys, I mean, you do know that Field artillery, the forward observers, we have a thing called the GLID and it's a laser designator. And, um, you know, every uh, fire support officer out there with infantry and, and armor, we, we all have these. Have you tested the GLID with the Hellfire missile? And there was an astounding, I don't know, I don't know. And we went farther up the chain. And we went to Grumman and to Norfolk and all the way up to the manufacturers who developed the Hellfire missile. Nobody knew. This caused great concern. So much concern that we ended up doing a test firing on the top of the uh, mountain at, at Fort Hood with the impact area below us where there were bleachers around the back. And all these dignitaries came out to see the first live ever test firing of this. And we're, I'm, I'm on this huge stage now in front of all these four stars and everybody who makes all the helicopters and makes the hellfires, everybody is there all because I asked this one question of do these things work together? So here we are up on this hill. I have two field artillery uh, units with two glids, one regular one, one backup in case one glid goes bad at that moment. We have two Apache helicopters hovering in case one of their glids goes bad. And we have a chase, I believe it was an F-15, in case the missile went wrong, it would be able to lay somewhere farther in the impact area for safety. And everybody was freaked out whether this would work or not. Of course, it worked out perfectly fine. The, the first glid and the first hellfire worked perfectly fine and everything was fine. And it was a great result from just a question. And Colonel Garrett was, you know, much appreciated about that. Uh, he, he was a great commander to work for. I, I remember one time uh, we were riding in a Black Hawk helicopter uh, doing uh, act, act uh Kind of, kind of like war planning. And uh, so we're right, riding in a Black Hawk at night. I have a little red flashlight with the map in front of me. And um, I have my CBC helmet on, my big helmet on my head. And I'm monitoring four different radios. So I have company in one, I have a battalion in the other, I have uh, Air Force in one, and then I have the artillery in the other. And the way I do all four is in my helmet, I have one on loud, one on soft. So by volume, I can tell the difference. Stuck in my uh, right ear, I have a pork chop, which is the handheld thing. So if it's just coming in my right ear, I hear one thing. If I'm just hearing my left ear, I hear another thing. And we're going around flying nap of earth in the middle of the dark, and I'm coordinating all these things. And he's looking at me going, how are you doing all this? What, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, this is what I learned as a, as a fist chief back in, you know, four, six, nine armor when we had four radios and you just had to listen to all of them anyways. And now I'm just at night getting air sick doing the same thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it was really, really impressive to work with that guy. And, uh, you know, we, we, we get officer evaluation reports written for us. 
But um, this guy, normally you write about a paragraph, a paragraph and a half of what somebody does for you. And it's very flowery language, outstanding this, excellent this. He wrote one sentence. He goes, if I go to war, Captain Ehrlichman comes with me. <laughs>